there. Something with every woman. It's the business of being born. Take a look. And I remember I was in a lot of pain. I was in during like just about the worst part, almost the worst part. I didn't lose my sense of humor because, you know, I'm, lo I'm like, uh, you know, <laughs> naked and an ambulance went by. And I was like, that's my ride. Get me the f out of here. I want to go to the hospital. I want to go to, I want my epidural. Really made me laugh. Please welcome Ricky Lake to our show. Good morning. So good good morning. morning. I'm yeah. so happy to be here. So this was a culmination of three years of a lot of hard work. It was in my head longer than that. I mean, my, my youngest son is six years old, so I've been thinking about it since his birth. But yeah, I, you know, it's been three years of ma in the making. All right, we just saw a clip. So how close were you going to the hospital? You were in labor for how many hours at that my point? My first, I was in 36 hours of labor, and my second, that was in the hospital. In, 36. Uh, it was in birth center first, and then in a hospital. Once I had the intervention, I was moved to the to the hospital section. Okay. And uh, my second was nine hours start to finish nine hours start to finish and, and you know what it was hard you asked I me was it I cried I cried when you know your son was born you know in the bathtub I, I was like uh, I felt yeah it was one what an amazing experience I was the mo and, and I the fact that I'm sharing it with the world is a little bit weird because I never intended to film it to show it to anybody right but I, I feel so moved by having had that experience and now making a project that really is an, it's not about have a home birth like me it's about choices in birth uh, for women and to, to make the best choice, to do your homework, to do your due diligence and make the best choice for you. All right, so let's talk about home birth. Why is it so important for you to get this message out? Well, again, again, like I had an amazing, empowering experience by having my baby at home. Well, less than 1% of American women actually deliver at home, I think it's right? a half a percent. Yeah, okay. it's really, it's and, and, you know, it's hard. Everything is stacked against you from your mother telling you you're crazy. The insurance you, companies. Insurance companies. And, you know, and it's in the fear, the fear that's out there, the media, we perpetuate this, this fear-based information about birth. And I'm not saying that everyone should do what I did. And certainly with my first baby, I might have felt differently. You know, when you're newly pregnant, you don't, want to no, you don't know what labor feels like. It, right. it could be a scary thing. I had no idea, and this is really kind of gives you some in-depth look at, at what labor really is. Um, because you have this idea of, like, you know, you're sitting there in the stirrups, you get the, you know, you get the shot. and you know, Well, you can. You know, I mean, that's one way to go. That's one way to go. A lot of women way. are choosing that. A lot of women are choosing well, elective C-sections. And really, it's about the pros and cons. Look at the pros and cons of everything and for us in New York you know I'm a New Yorker I had both my babies here I right. live in LA now but you know our, our premiere on Wednesday night is to benefit a new birth center called the new space well, let's which, talk about the birthing center let's uh, talk about midwives you know uh, what are some of the uh, uh, the misnomers that are out there and the well, misperceptions everyone has this sort of stereotypical uh, view of a midwife that they have braids and they wear Birkenstocks yeah. and they're all about giving birth you know in a barn yeah. it's not about that uh, midwives are an amazing amazing profession they uh, make the ultimate sacrifice for women. They're not just there at the end when the baby comes out. They're there during the entire course of labor. Uh, they spend an, a, tr a tremendous amount of time with And even with patients. complications, because in, 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 in the uh, movie you actually talk about, like, uh the, the situations that might, you know, arise. And, They're incredibly and, and, trained. And, and how they just don't they do are. surgery. They're not doctors. They don't do the, the C-section. And how you have to have a backup doctor and all these Absolutely. other wonderful things. Yeah, so this birth center, you know, Elizabeth Seton was an amazing place on 14th Street. Uh, it was an incredible birth, stint, uh, birth center that was completely independent and backed up by St. Vincent's, and they've closed because they couldn't, the malpractice insurance got too crazy, and St. Vincent's, something happened with that. And now uh, a group has come together, and it's called the New Space for Women, and it's going to be a, a, a totally green space that's hope, going to hope it open in 2009, which will be an independent birth center for women, which is an amazing option for women in New York City. And let's hope the insurance companies also catch on to this. You know? I, I hope so. I mean, the cost is so much less. You know, to have a baby uh, naturally, is it's, it's, it's night and day. I mean, my birth, home birth, was $4,000 versus, you know, $15,000 in a hospital. So. All right, we're going to switch gears in a little bit. You're looking great. You're looking fabulous. Thank All you. the guys were like, look at Ricky Lake. Really? Well, yes. where are they? I'm single. <laughs> they're, all, they're, all, they're waving their hands behind the cameras. <laughs> well, tell us what is it like to, you know, to, to be in this body now? I mean, it a lot of us, like, no, you grew up with us. I mean, we saw you. There Which is you really, I know, I know. I mean, I, with every that hairspray. bad hairdo, with every <laughs> size dress in my closet, you know, have going through two pregnancies on camera and stuff. And hairspray, of course, being, you know, the, the, the fat girl. Yeah. Yeah. It started my career. So I'm, 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 in, I'm in a great place in my life. I'm 30, and I'm turning 40 this year in September. Woo! I'm right the on. happiest I've ever been.
and, and I being have two single? gorgeous children. I'm I'm single. I'm just getting back into the dating scene, which is which is scary. fun and scary. It's scary when you're high profile. It's like yeah. you know you talk to somebody and then it becomes news, but that's weird. But I feel good in my skin. I feel good about the work I'm doing. You know, I love my talk show for 11 years, and I love this movie. I'm so excited about it. I think it's you know it really is an amazing sort of piece of information for women that are thinking about having a child or even have had one and just gets you it gets you thinking. Gets you thinking. Absolutely. And for you, you're newlywed. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so, very much. So information is powerful and that's what you're trying to pass on. Absolutely. And I think that I was riveted actually. Oh, thank you so much. My husband much. and I completely were watching like this. Thank you, Ricky Lake, because mm. I didn't know. Well, it's my pleasure. I mean, I really love being an advocate for moms, for babies, for midwives. It's, uh, I think it's the new phase of my career, so I'm very happy. Thank you very much, Ricky. Uh, for the business of uh, being born opens in theaters here in New York this Wednesday. It's really important you go out and check it out. Yeah, for more information. <laughs> Log on to CW11.com slash morning news. All right, folks, we're going to be right back. Up next on the CW11 Morning News, it's a tooth whitener and a